Thank you. Good afternoon. That was okay. Um, hi, my name is Nathan Harvey, and I'm going to talk to you about open spaces. How many of you have done open spaces before? All right. And so how many of you, this is your first time doing open spaces? And how many of you, this is your last time doing open spaces? <laughs> Okay, all right, we already have one person that knows this is it. This is not for you, is it? Yeah, it's cool. All right, uh, so the way I wanna describe open spaces for you is I wanna start at five o'clock. I, I want you to imagine yourself at five o'clock right now. You probably have a beer in hand. That feels better already, doesn't it? Yeah? Uh, you should feel energized, you should feel like You've talked about things that were amazing today. After great presentations in the morning, you've met a bunch of other community members, and you're ready to go. You're ready to get to work, but first a beer, and then get to work. So the way that we will do that is we're going to have a bunch of discussions. So the open spaces is the time in the conference where the conference organizers get to sit back and relax. All of our speakers who have prepared so many great talks also get to sit back and relax. We turn this conference over to you, the attendees. So for this afternoon, we're going to go through open spaces. I just wanna sort of set up exactly how open spaces work. So if we wanna get together and have some discussions, there are three things that we need for discussions. We need space, we need time, and we need people. So you're the people. The spaces that we have, um, Cool, that's gonna go up there. All right, this is super well prepared, can you tell? Uh, so we have a couple of spaces. We have Expo 1 and 2, they're down one level. We have uh, the studio and uh, this this one, Ij Zal. I, I'm sure I mispronounced that. Egg. Right, egg, <laughs> right. <laughs> Better? Those are both upstairs. Yes, yeah, and then the terrace. That's downstairs, oh, oh, it's downstairs outside? Yeah, like where we had lunch. Great, okay, so we all know the spaces. And who's, who are the people that are gonna participate in these discussions? Yeah, you are, that's right, you should all raise your hand because you're all gonna participate in these discussions. Okay, so how do we figure out which discussions we're going to have? Well, the beauty of open spaces is we, as the audience, and by we I mean you, get to decide what are the topics that are most important to you right now. The beauty of open spaces is that we, we don't have to make a mockumentary. We don't have to come up with what is the story of the afternoon. You get to decide what the story is for this afternoon. So what I'm going to ask you to do is think right now about a topic that you have, a question that you maybe have, something that you would like to discuss. You can use the talks from this morning as inspiration. Maybe you walked in here hoping to get something out of the talks and you didn't get that thing. Well, that's a great topic for an open space. So what I'm going to ask you to do, we have uh, some post-its, and so maybe I can get some volunteers to help here. Some post-its, some markers. We'll pass those around. Thanks, Chris. And what I'd like you to do is write your topic or question on the post-it, and then also if you would put your name on there, that would be helpful, because then we'll know who proposed this topic. Now, there are some rules. Which topics are you allowed to propose? Actually, there, by rules and about the topics, there's only one. It has to be a topic that you are passionate enough about to start a conversation. You needn't be an expert in this topic, and that topic doesn't even have to be anything other than a question. Maybe you want to learn more about incident command. Maybe you want to learn more about Kubernetes or container management. Just put that down as a topic. And what we'll have you do is come up to the front of the room, take the microphone from me, read off your topic. The thing that I would like to propose is topic or question. My name is name. And then you will take your topic and we'll stick it on one of these boards. So we'll put it on the back of a board to start. Like that. We'll then see how many topics we get and then we'll decide which topics are we going to use which rooms are they going to happen in, and so forth. And then it is up to you to decide which topics you're going to participate in this afternoon. And as you go off into the topics, there are, there are now some principles and one law that you must follow. 
So the first principle of open spaces is that whenever it starts, it's the right time, okay? Because this is a, a time of creativity and creativity does not run on a clock. However, oh, there aren't times on these, but there are times on the schedule, look. So one of them starts at three, one of them starts at 3.35, and one of them starts at, I can't even read it because it's blurry or my eyes are bad. Thank you, doesn't matter. So it starts when it starts. Oh, that's much easier there, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. Y'all really care, that was very kind of you. A, thank you, so we have three different times. It starts when it starts, just follow the schedule. Okay, got it? Got, that's the first rule, starts when it starts, stay on schedule. Okay, the second rule, the second rule that we have is whoever comes to the discussion is the right people. So you may propose a topic, you may think, man, everyone in this room is gonna wanna talk about this thing, and you put it up on the board, and a lot of people seem really enthusiastic about it, and then you go and you sit down to have the conversation, and there are two other people with you. Guess what? Those are the two people that care most about that topic right now. So have that conversation. You'll be surprised by what you learn from each other, what you can learn from each other, what you can teach one another. The next thing is, um, that whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. Whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. These discussions are so important. When you, when you sit down and talk, work towards an outcome and think about what, what can we do next? What can we do after this discussion? What can I take back to my colleagues? What can I take back to this community? But whatever happens during those discussions, that's the only thing that could have happened. Don't feel like there's some specific guidelines that you have to meet, some objectives that you have to cover. Whatever happens, that's the only thing that could have happened. And when the conversation is over, that's it, it's done. So although we do have a schedule, this is the easy part of the schedule. If, if you end the conversation that you started at three o'clock, if you end that conversation at 3.25 instead of at 3.30, don't feel like you have to keep talking for another five minutes. How many of you have ever been to meetings and the meeting's scheduled for 45 minutes and you're done at 40 and someone, someone in the room, I know it's not you, but someone else in the room is like, well, we still have five minutes on this, on this calendar, so let's keep talking. You ever been to those meetings? Have you enjoyed those meetings? Yeah, me either. So when the conversation's over, it's over. Uh, except follow the schedule, right? So when it starts, it starts. When it ends, it ends. There's a schedule. Stick to the schedule. Uh, the other thing, though, you can pick up that conversation and move it somewhere else. Just make space for someone else to come into the space where you are. Now, there is an important law. So those are kind of principles, but there is a law of open spaces. And that law is known as the law of mobility. And it states this, if you find yourself in a discussion and you are neither giving anything into that discussion nor taking anything away from that discussion, it is your responsibility to invoke the law of mobility and leave that conversation. Go to another conversation. Now, we call this law out specifically and explicitly for a couple of reasons. First, I want to give everyone in, per, uh, in the room permission to do what you want this afternoon. Also, I want to remind you, you're all adults. You don't need my permission to do what you want this afternoon. <laughs> but I've now given it to you, just in case. But the other reason that we call this out explicitly is you may be talking, you may be uh, sharing some of your own experience, and maybe Maddie gets up and he walks out. And you may be thinking to yourself, that Maddie is an asshole. I was being, I was really get, sharing some deep knowledge, my experience, it's really important to me, I'm about to cry, I'm so invested in this, and that dude got up and walked out. It's okay, he, he didn't do that because he hates you. He did that because he just wasn't getting anything out of that conversation, that's okay, we have to give him permission to get up and walk away. But by following these principles and by invoking this law of mobility, what we can do is ensure that you get the most out of this afternoon as possible. And so I ask that you be open to the process. I ask that you be prepared to be surprised. I ask that you share openly with everyone here in the room. Oh, but that sharing openly, there's a little catch to that. Um, 
if I say the words NDA or the letters NDA in that order, do you all know what that means, an NDA? Some yes, maybe some, some blank stares because you're just done listening to me, it's cool. So an NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, right? If you're, if you're talking across companies, sometimes you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement because we want you to share openly, uh, but your company might not want you to share openly, it's okay. I've uh, consulted with all of your attorneys, all of the general counsel at your companies, and they've agreed for me to put us all under a blanket friendier, okay? So we're all under a friendier. All I need you to do is nod to say, yes, I will follow the rules of this friendier. And the rules state, I will share openly, and then I will not tell corporate secrets uh, about my competitors. Everyone agree to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, good, 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 good. Uh, I have some notes, let me check my notes to see if there's, oh yeah, there's, there's more. Uh, most of us in the room, have two ears and one mouth. So unlike what I'm doing right now, when you're in these discussions, maybe you should listen twice as much as you speak. It's important that everyone in these discussions has the opportunity to have their voice heard. And again, as you're part of these discussions, what you might do is just ask a question. What you might do is share some insight or share some of your own experience. That's where we're gonna get the most value out of these discussions. So please do bear that in mind. I would also ask that each of you help police the rest of the group, if you will. Because sometimes there are people who like to talk and they don't realize that what they're doing is just talking and talking and talking and talking and no one can get a word in edgewise, so I'm just going to keep talking. I encourage you to like nudge that person, maybe make some eye contact, maybe tug on your ear, uh, something to remind that person, hey, we, we've, heard, we've heard what you have to say. Perhaps now we could hear from Bridget or perhaps now we could hear from someone else, whomever. But let's just make sure that everyone has an opportunity to share their voice during these discussions. Okay, um, checking my notes, blah, 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 looks good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, what questions can I answer for you about open spaces? Yes, sir, in the back. What is the size of the rooms? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, uh, let's see. So the terrace is, well, you've seen it, it's pretty big. Uh, it's too big to have a single discussion, but that's okay. One of the beauties of open spaces, remember one of the principles, whatever happens is the only thing that could have happened. So, you know, if you go down to the terrace and you decide that maybe we have two different discussions happening, that's fine, that's your prerogative, you can do that. The studio uh, and the, the one that I don't know how to pronounce and I won't tr butcher again, uh, they're both upstairs. Uh, you asked me about the size of them, they're both upstairs. Um, and then Expo 1 and 2 are down one level and they, uh, like they're, I don't know, maybe 20 people in each of those discussions. I think that like the, the target size you want for your discussions is around 20 people or so. Uh, but that also brings me to another point. When you go down into Expo 1 and 2, and probably, although I'm too lazy clearly to have done it, when you go upstairs, you will see that there are chairs arranged in a circle. Uh, and there, there aren't microphones, so you won't be passing a microphone around. What you may find you need to do is take that circle and make it tighter so that everyone can hear one another. These should be pretty intimate discussions. So, yes, great, thank you for that question. I'm sorry I could only answer half of it. You'll sort it out when you go upstairs. You'll, you'll see, ah, it's this size. Great. <laughs> Bridget. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I, I will repeat the question. So the question was, are you gonna do some sort of sizing exercise so we can figure out where should we put each one of these discussions? And the, the answer I gave her was, eh, I don't know. And here, let me tell you why I don't know. Uh, we have space for, uh, let's see, that's five by three. Somebody help me with the math. I think that's 15 different discussion groups, maybe even 20 uh, if we decide to split the uh, terrace into two different groups. So it really depends on how many topics we get, and then we can sort out, do we need to do some ranking? Do we need to figure out what's what? But after you've proposed your topics and we've put them up on the board, the next step is we're gonna take those topics and put them into the schedule. We're gonna sort out what goes where. And this is a part that you should pay attention to. 
Because when we do that, you may have heard two or three different topics that you're interested in, and what we might decide to do is put them all in slot one. And so if we put your three favorite topics in slot one, which one will you go to? Well, you can go to all three. Remember the law of mobility? It's totally cool. You can go to them all. But wouldn't it be better if they were at different times? That would feel better. So when we start putting things onto the board in terms of schedule, you should come participate in that process. All right, what other questions can I answer for you? All right, I have a question for you. Who would like to propose the first topic?